This is the cage that the lard balls was in. And on the ground, you can see all these seeds that have been left that the birds haven't eaten. It's like the vegetables, the green vegetables on the bird plate. They refuse to eat them. The snow is still here. And if you go over here, you see a tremendous amount of husks. This is the amount of sunflower seeds we've given the birds during the winter. There is that time during the spring, especially down in Helsinki, that everything that has been covered up by the snow is, begins to be exposed. All the crisp packets and the cigarette papers, the dog's doo-doo, everything just begins to show. There's a two-week period it's intensely unpleasant. And you can see writing is a state of trance. She walks in while I'm typing. Listen, she says, I, oh, I scream and I'll leap out of my chair. So, sorry, she says, I wanted to ask you something. Yes, what is it? She leaves, I rip the paper out of the typer and throw it into the trash. There's no way of getting it back. Then I forget about it and I start again. I'm three or four pages into it when she walks in. Listen, I... Holy shit! I leap out of my chair. I answer her questions and she leaves. I sit staring at the page, trying to pick up the flow. It's gone. I rip the paper from the sheen and I trash it. I look at a cigar box. White owl, it says, over in the corner. I see a dirty little bottle. Hydrogen peroxide, it says. There's nothing like bitching about bad luck. I do very well. Snow still here, but these little low growing fir trees, they are doing well, they've survived well over the winter, they're looking quite healthy. The pies are opening up. The snow is not going away. There are some hot spots. You see there, there's a hole in the snow. I don't know if it's some drainage system underneath it. But there are some places in the yard that are just... The snow seems to disappear away from them quicker than others. There's another one over there. You see the snow round about it. I think that would be a good place to plant a plant. If it's, there must be some magic hole there. Something magic happening underneath the ground. It deserves to have something growing. That's the apothecary rose. That's that hydrangea I planted. And that big thing there is the Verbena ponariensis. So you're famous and you people know you. This is called Ginsburg. But do you really want to be known? I'm sitting in the clubhouse grandstand. $311 a head going into the seventh. When this very young man walks up, stands there as I'm going over the form. Pardon me, he says. Yeah? Listen, he says, I think I know you. No, I says, you don't know me. Don't you know Allen Ginsberg? I don't know any Ginsberg. 
Didn't you have a reading a uh, nightclub called Sweetwater? I don't know what the reading is. Listen, he says. I know you. I stand up, I face him. Listen, buddy. I'm a gardener. For some rich people. That's how I make it. I turn and walk off down through the rows of seats, feeling good, just like a gardener should, out on a gambling night after a row with his women.